Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Pluctus channel. Established in 1767 in Virginia, Norfolk Naval Shipyard is the oldest shipyard in continuous operation in the United States. Throughout its rich history, the shipyard has launched hundreds of naval ships, ranging from destroyers to submarines and aircraft carriers. The launch of each vessel is a momentous occasion, symbolizing the culmination of years of hard work by the skilled shipbuilding team. When the time comes, the shipyard must choose from a variety of ship launching techniques and pick the most suitable one. The method used depends on factors such as the size and shape of the vessel, as well as the available infrastructure and resources. In recent years, many shipyards have started using the airbag launching system. This innovative method involves using marine airbags placed beneath the ship's hull to lift it off the ground and transport it to the sea. The airbags used in the ship rollout method are cylindrical with hemispherical heads at both ends. They are made of heavy-duty synthetic material and are designed to withstand the weight of the vessel. Once the airbags are in place, they are inflated with compressed air to lift the ship off the ground. The ship is then carried to the water, where the airbags are gradually deflated allowing the ship to roll off them and slide into the sea. While the ship rollout method is a modern, effective, and safe technique for launching massive ships, some shipbuilders are still true to the traditional launching methods. In 2012, Navantia Shipyard launched the second landing helicopter dock for the Royal Australian Navy. They did so using a longitudinal steel system known as roller slideway launching. The LHD was built on a series of longitudinal steel supports set on top of a set of rollerways. Once the ship construction was complete, the shipyard team slid down the rollerways to launch the LHD into the water. This method is well suited for launching large and heavy ships. The longitudinal steel supports provide a sturdy base for the ship to rest on during the launching process, ensuring a smooth and successful launch. The multi-purpose offshore vessel MV Dina Polaris was also launched using this technique. The Sitka shipyard successfully launched MV Dina Polaris on the 29th of June in 2016. Another common method to ship launching is the side oiled slideway. This technique utilizes a slipway sloped at a gentle angle and lubricated with a special oil. The vessel to be launched is then placed on the slipway and, with the help of gravity and the lubricating oil, is slowly eased down the slope and into the water. The 
the Slide Oil and Slideway has been used to launch numerous vessels, including the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Reuben Lasker. The NOAA Reuben Lasker was built at the Marinette Marine Corporation shipyard in Marinette, Wisconsin. After one year of construction, Pamela A. Lasker, daughter of the ship's namesake, Reuben Lasker, christened the ship. The vessel was placed side on to water on a slipway. The unique side oiling mechanism lubricates the slideway as the vessel moves along it continuously. This ensures a smooth launch while reducing wear and tear. The speed of the vessel's entry into the sea was regulated by sturdy drag chains, which ensured a controlled and safe launch. Once in the water, the vessel's exceptional buoyancy and stability allow it to become steady. It was a remarkable feat of engineering. Since its launch in June of 2012, the Reuben Lasker has carried out a range of important scientific missions, including stock assessments of fishery resources and studies of the marine ecosystem. Floating out is another popular and widely used launching method in the shipbuilding industry. Typically, a large barge-like steel platform is used to move the vessel from the construction area to the launching site. For instance, Ingalls Shipbuilding uses this technique to launch multiple naval vessels such as the LHA-7. Once the LHA-7 was properly positioned, then a series of controlled flooding operations were carried out to submerge the platform. As the dry dock sank, the ship gradually moved into the water. When the LHA-7 became fully afloat, powerful tugboats pulled it away and guided it to its next station. In addition to launching military vessels, the floating dry dock technique is also used to launch commercial and cruise ships. In February 2022, Viking River Cruises floated out its new Viking Mississippi at a shipyard in Louisiana. It has accommodations for up to 386 passengers with a wide variety of amenities. Prior to the float out, the Viking Mississippi was transferred from the construction area to the floating dock via a steel track connecting the two. As the platform slowly submerged, the vessel set free. To mitigate any potential risks and increase the safety of the launch, some shipyards, such as the British company BAE Systems, utilize flatbed low loaders. These ultra-large low loaders position themselves beneath the blocks on which the vessel is constructed, then carefully move the ship onto a floating dry dock. Once in position, the low loader lowers the blocks onto the platform and pulls out. The tugboats then maneuver the dry dock to a nearby berth for the launch of the vessel. 
Once the tug makes contact with the ship, a harbor pilot will go aboard to help navigate the larger vessel around any underwater obstacles. Meanwhile, the tugs themselves will use a combination of pushing, pulling, and towing to ensure the ship makes it to its berth without running aground, damaging other boats or equipment, or damaging itself. This process requires precise coordination and communication between the shipbuilders, naval personnel, and support crews to ensure the vessel is launched safely and without incident. Tugboats play a critical role in ensuring a successful launch of a ship. They provide the necessary assistance in maneuvering the vessel out of the dock and guide it safely to its destination. They serve as powerful workhorses that assist large vessels in docking undocking, and towing. Tugboats can move ships that are 1,000 times their size. Their unique design and propulsion system make them the masters of the sea. Large vessels, such as container ships, rely on their power to transit through shallow waters and narrow canals, or when a ship requires additional power to overcome strong currents or winds. Tugboats are also used during sea trials to test the ship's maneuverability and stability. Sea trial aims at evaluating, among others, speed, maneuverability, endurance, and safety equipment. In addition to assisting in the launching, berthing, and transiting tight spots, tugboats are used when the vessels needs to return to the shipyard for modernization or maintenance and repair. Additionally, tugboats are used to help control the speed of vessels and ensure that they do not exceed the maximum speed limit set by the Port Authority. Here, you can see specialized tugboats operating in Valdez, Alaska. These state-of-the-art tugs are designed to help escort oil tankers through the waters of Prince William Sound. These tugs can put out around 13,000 horsepower and are extremely maneuverable. There are multiple launching systems used around the world, and each shipyard chooses the technique based on its team's expertise, geography, equipment, and capabilities to ensure a safe vessel launch. Regardless of the chosen technique, tugboats are always an essential part of the process. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.